Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulli and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to review a software MPC HC media player on Microsoft Windows 10. However, this software is available for XP, Service Pack 3, Vista 7, 8, 8.1 and 10 for both system types, so both architecture type, 64-bit and 32-bit as well. You can download it from this website mpc-hc.org and then go to downloads and here you can download 32-bit and 64-bit. You can see these are the supported operating system so XP Service Pack 3, Vista 7, 8, 8.1 and 10. So this is where you can get this software. This is open source media player for Windows okay and it's it claims to be 100 percent spyware free and it also says it's lightweight highly customizable feature rich and this also can play it can be used as a dvb player so that's really awesome let's go ahead and have a look at this media player so after downloading this i hope that you have installed it by the way this video was requested by one of the viewers and his name is Jesus Moreno he says hi thank you for your video I would be interested in a tutorial of MPC HC media player because there are a lot of options oh by the way happy new year so thank you I wish you very happy new year to you and to your loved ones and thank you for your request and your PayPal tip as well. So that's it. Let's go ahead and get started with the video and with this player. So awesome stuff. Here we are. And I've got MPC HC 64 bit installed on my system. So this is very fast loading software. It doesn't take a lot of time to load. So here it is. Now this software has a lot of options you can play videos mp3 a dvd as well now you can drag anything in it like videos or mp3 and this will start playing it you do not you cannot hear the sound because i've just turned it off so basically once you have dropped in any video or mp or mp3 or any audio file you can use shortcuts to navigate increase this volume and decrease this uh, volume as well so very handy shortcuts are the arrow keys arrow keys you got if you want to increase the volume you can use the up arrow keys you can see it says 100 so you can increase and decrease volume with the arrow keys so with up arrow key you can increase with down arrow you can decrease the volume you can also move the seek bar this is the seek bar with right and left arrow keys so towards back like backwards you can go with the left arrow key with right arrow key you can go forward so these are basically four keys that that you can use to uh, increase the sound decrease the sound and move the uh, seek bar forward and backwards if you have lots of video in it or lots of mp3s or audio tracks you can go to the next audio or to the previous audio file using page up and down buttons just above the arrow keys so i can go to the next video i like the first video previous video basically and then go to the next video with the page down so these are two other short curves that you can start using then you can use the space bar button to play uh, sorry to pause and play the video one thing i just forgot you can use control m to mute the sound okay so to up to increase simply arrow up arrow to decrease down arrow to mute it or unmute it you can use control M okay all right and then you can use pause and play with uh, you can 
pause and play videos or track with spacebar. One more thing you can do if you want to start the song from the beginning, you can go to the home or to the very starting point of the track by pressing the home button on the keyboard or the uh, period button. So period like which is just above the alt key on the right of the spacebar. So period, okay. Then you've got, these are basically basic keys that you can use. And you can also use the number keys. So both number keys have different functionalities. So on the right, which you have number keys, right to the arrow keys, you can use them to basically zoom in, zoom out the video. So not, not the tracks. So if you press F1, it will start start zooming out basically and if you press so just two number two this will shrink the video from top and bottom number four will shrink from right and left so width number five will take it back to the it's 100 percent width and height then with number seven sorry with number six you can stretch it stretch the width of width of the video similarly goes with the height if you want to stretch the height you can use number nine to zoom in all right then you can press five to go back to the normal if you want to use the control button with these keys you can definitely do so so i'm using control one to basically go to the right top you can use control 2 to move down control 3 to go towards right control 4 again to go towards left control 5 will take you to the normal back basically it's going to reset the screen now if you want to go towards right you can use control 6 7 will take you towards uh, left top number 8 will take you towards up number 9 again is going to take you to and then these are basically control 9 control 8 control 7 control or simply just 5 it's going to take you to the it's going to reset the screen so these are basically the left keys number keys if you want to use the keys above the alphabetic keys or below the function keys you can press one to remove all the frames if you want to press two this will give you the minimal minimalist frame if you want to get all the frame back you can use number three okay so okay if you want to go to full screen you can use f11 if you just need the menu in full screen or whenever you want you can press f10 so these are basically the features that you can use there are so many features if you need uh, features and shortcuts that you can get from here so let's say you want more options so you can go ahead and try if you want to hide the menu you can try control 0 seek seek bar so basically let's go ahead and try this so I'm going to press control zero so you will hide the menu and see the hidden completely so as many times you press it you will get its features okay now control one will take basically remove this seek bar control two control two will take this two will take the control okay the when you press control 3 it's going to give you the information so like this is paused status basically control 4 is going to give you the statistics control 5 is going to remove this at the very bottom control 6 has nothing 7 so list basically control 7 means list all right so this is how you can use if you want to use control j this is going to give you all the statistics keep pressing control j and this will kind of uh, loop through its options so these are a few things that you can do let's go ahead and have a look at
few more features so yeah playlist control 7 presets feature that you can get by pressing number one on the right top number three it's a preset of normal so these are the buttons compact is going to give you the compact so here we go so these are all with the view on top if basically this will make this appear like on top whatever you do so no matter how many applications you have open this is going to be on the very top options if you press o or just go to this options tab you can get this options window and these are the files that are supported with this media player you can go ahead and try these but i would not suggest you try any of these this is very much customizable but it's okay it's far better than the inbuilt microsoft player okay so i've already told you you can go ahead and try spacebar to pause and play you can press period or dot to stop it frame set okay yeah you can step you can go ahead and try the control and right repeat this is going to be automatically detected so if it's a file it's going to be repeating all the time if it's a playlist it's going to be repeating decrease the rate control down up reset it control r filters completely i leave it on you video track volumes up and down and control m mute uh, after playback so as soon as it stops playing or completes playing the video or mp3 what do you want it to do do nothing play next file in the folder turn off the monitor exit standby lock or do whatever navigation we have already done done, done that you can use uh, page up and page down to navigate through a playlist next previous next previous go to a specific point you can use control g and tell where you want it to start from so you can go ahead and say here here is what you want now navigation is done this is basically you can say control t so this will give you title menu root menu these are all options probably for mp3 you can add anything like video or mp3 to a favorite list remember the position okay so you can do that relative drive help button you can go to the home page the, the website home page check for updates you can basically check for the update command line switches so anything that you're doing with this uh, keyboards or these buttons you can do with the command lines as well download toolbar images you can go ahead and download the toolbar images but i'm not sure how they are used I did not find anything on the website. Donate okay. about this is all about the software. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, please leave in the comment below and I will try to answer it ASAP. Thank you and have a good day. Bye for now.